Take a look at this child container with a background image and what looks to be two floating pills. If I click this, we get an accordion. I click this one, the other one closes and the other one opens. No, there is no funky JavaScript being added here. This is the same accordion split into two, slightly offset. It's all been done with some CSS. Firstly, what's the point of having this in a hero banner or a container? Well, think of it like an FAQ. Maybe you want to answer some burning questions. Or maybe you just want to showcase a product or an offer. Could even have a form inside of there. Here's how easy it was to build this. Inside of this child container, we have an accordion. And all I've done is put in two questions or two items. And within each of them, it is the nested accordion I'm using. I've got my text editor, which has the answers or whatever I want to reveal. Now, when it comes to the accordion, I'm not doing anything fancy other than setting, you know, what your symbols are and, you know, interactions. Are they all collapsed and do they only open one at a time? Nothing fancy going on here at the moment. It all comes down to what I've done in the custom CSS part. Let me remove this entire code. So now you can see we have a traditional accordion, right? We got our two questions. They got rounded border radii and they're very close together because I haven't set any distance or whatever. So it's just like your traditional normal accordion. But when I add in this code, yeah, I know you're going to say it looks a little bit squashed up and that's because I'm obviously we're in the edit screen. But look, can you just see how perfect it looks? And it's fine on the tablet, but on the mobile, I left it as the full accordion because otherwise you would be squashing it, but it still works absolutely fine. You only have one open at any one time. Let's go back to the code. I want you to set up my template or my grid for where these will sit as 40, 40 percent. And the reason I did that is because if I go for 50, 50, then they'll be kind of in line with one another. And I wanted to create this gap in between them just to space them out. And then down here, I've set a gap of 95 pixel. Watch what happens if I go for five pixel. There is now a five pixel gap over there. If I was to go for 15, you can see what it's doing. I'm going to pop it back to 95. But when we get to the tablet and we'll go into the tablet screen, this is where I've changed it to be 28%. And the reason I did that was if I had 40, it actually went over my focal image, the person inside of the image, the focal point of the image, sorry. And I don't want it covering her face or kind of overlapping onto their cheeks or anything. So I went with 28, 28 and it works absolutely fine. It still looks okay no matter which accordion you open. And I set my margin distance to be 100 pixel. I could have gone bigger, but I wanted to take into account how big is this text editor when you expand. This code is in the video description. So if you wanted to add an accordion now on your page in your hero banner or anywhere else, because you want to make the image feel a little bit interactive, even though the image is completely static, you could do that. Get your background image, drop an accordion on. If you want to have more than two, you may need to mess around and play with the code. Go and stick the code in chat GPT. It will sort you out and tell you what you need to do. But if you imagine you're trying to convince a professional or a visitor or someone that they're in the right place and you want to answer a burning question they might have or just create a bit of intrigue, this is a brilliant, super way to do it. I'm Imran from Web Squadron. Go and sign up for our YouTube channel for access to the exclusive Elemental course that you can get for $4.99 a month. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.